Good morning. So today uh, we are going to talk about um, Excel, the new uh, layout for Android UI layout. And today we're I'm going to discuss with the continuation of the contact organizer wherein maglalagay na tayo ng behavior or code example. So although we already created a file from the previous um, discussion, like Monday or the previous week, um, I'm still going to make it from scratch so that those who were not able to attend the class will have an idea how I came up with the design. Na when you click, okay, so basically this is what it looks like when we go to... Um, when we design or when we run the program. So this is just a prototype. So I made it on XD. So let's say for example, so um if you loaded uh the application, it will basically show up um the this details. So the name, the address the name, the the number and the email address. And then there's also a corresponding photo on beside it. Okay, so that's what we're going to aim and then if i uh, click add it sh it goes to this um it goes to this uh when um activity wherein when you click this um this photo like it's an add bo button the photo uh you will be able to open the gallery and uh, use the image existing image on that uh phone Kung saan mo man siya in install. Then we also have the name, contact number, and also the email address. Once you have all of those, once you click save, it should it should go back here and add the um the, the new information that you added. So basically that's uh what we're going to aim for this morning for this day. Okay, so let me just go ahead and close this and go back to our contact organizer so so first thing is i will be needing okay so we'll be needing um three layouts and then two activities so basically uh this is the first layout which is the xml file and we are still needing additional um activity which is uh, i'm going to call as, as add contact so just go to the folder of java and then look for the activity and then look for the empty activity and then name this as add contact and then just click um finish okay so we do have uh two activities right now activity main and activity add and contact so um, in the rest folder, we we'll also be needing additional layout. So this is just a resource layout. Just go to um, to this folder, layout, rest layout, and then right click new and then layout resource file. I am going to uh, name this contact items. contact list item I should say and then I'm going to hit OK okay and then um so since we have three layouts uh, we can start now um doing the design so first I'm going to do it in the activity main okay so I'll be in silence for a moment while doing this so please watch
So as you can see here, what I did is that I changed the constraint layout to linear layout since that's at the focus of our lesson. Okay, and then we're gonna change this layout um, orientation to vertical. So all of the objects or the views will be stuck in or arranged in vertical position. Okay, so let's add here. Um, I'll be using uh two um widgets, the button and the recycler. Okay, so I'll just go ahead and do that. So first is I need button, so just have to click this and then drag. Okay, so as you can see there, already have the button. Then the next one is we need to recycle. So if in your uh, machine, um, meron siyang ganitong logo, katabi ng recycle view, just click that so it can be done. Otherwise, you can just directly go ahead and um, use that drag and drop. It. Okay. So this one, we need to change the text to add contact. Okay, and then we'll change this to BTN. Add. Then refactor. We also want this one to be changed, so that's going to be recycler contact. And I'll do the rest, so please uh, just watch it uh, while I'm doing it.
Okay, so we're done with the second activity, uh, which is the uh, when you click the add contact, it goes here. So the next one is we're going to design the contact list item, which basically looks like this one. So ito yung iri repeat niya. Okay, so let's go back here.
Okay, and then um, what we're going to do here is we are going to change the uh, layout height of the constraint layout for um, contact list item. So instead of match parent, we're going to use the wrap content um, value. Okay. Yeah, so pretty much this is what we need. But uh, we also need to rename the text views, um, text view ID because of course uh, we need to identify them during the coding okay. so i'll be doing that on the design mode so here i'll be uh, putting ids on the attributes uh, tab Okay, so I'm done with designing um, our interface for this uh, for this um, project. Now we're going to do the coding part. So first, okay, since we have two um, two job files here, we still need to have like two more job files or Java classes. So first, we need to do is to go to the folder of the Java. And then right click, click new, select new, and then click the uh, Java class. We'll name this as contact or contacts, let's say. And then just hit enter. And now uh, it goes to this interface. So we're going to identify here the contact information that we need to do. So in order for you to know that, if you're going back to the contact list, we have like one, two, three, four. So this is the image. This is the contact name. This is the contact number. And this is the contact email address. Okay, so that's what we're going to put in here. But I cannot put that not here, but here. Okay, so let me go ahead and type that. And then um, after this uh, declaration of the fields or basically the attributes of this class, we'll need to um, include also a constructor, okay? So to do that, just type in public and then the name of the class. It's going to be contact. Contact. Okay, so pretty much that's what we want only for the constructor. And then we also need to un create another constructor, but this time it's parameterized. Let's click that, select all. Ship, um, select the, um, ship, then select down. And then click OK. And now we're able to create automatically a constructor for contacts. Next is we'll be needing to create a getter and setter. So to do that again, it's the same procedure. Go to right click, go to generate, and then look for the getter and setter. And then I'm gonna select all of them by uh, clicking shift until um, email string. And then hit OK. And then now we're able to create a getter and setter. So another is I'd like to add, this is not necessary, but it's the but uh, it's okay to be there. So I'll click that. Okay, now 
So we're done with this particular um, Java class. So I'm going to exit from this. So the next thing that we need is uh, we'll need a um, adapter. We need to create a, an adapter for recycler view. Okay. So to give you a quick um um summary or heads up of what is a recycler view, recycler view basically repeats the display of a particular um layout so since we have a layout here for contact list so ulitin niya yun so if you have 10 um 10 records on your database or on your array list for example um you will be able to see this 10 times as well so this in this uh, layout resource we only see it once but once the program detected that there are more than uh, one um, records that uh, satisfy the satisfy this one this layout then it will recreate it so parang repeat 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 niya lang yung pag -e execute so that's the uh, use of this particular recycler view which is actually in inside this particular um layout in the main activity so i will be showing you that later on but yeah so again um let's go to the java folder and then click ok and then um here i will call this my adapter okay now that you have my adapter since this adapter is um a solution to be able to connect with the recycler view we need to extend this with our recycler view. so just um type in extend then recycler view dot adapter okay and then um we are going to implement the methods so if there is a light bulb in this section you just have to click that and then implement method click that and then yeah you need to select all of this and then hit ok so um there is another thing that we need to add on this part and that is the uh view holder so to do that uh use the angled bracket open and close uh, angled bracket then you need to type in the name of your class so that's going to be adapt my adapter so i'm going to type it here my adapter that um view holder that's what i want to do show here okay so as you can see here there is an error or it gives us a red bulb it's because we need to implement method okay so we need to have the um unbind holder and then we're gonna click that okay and th there is another red here. Okay. And then we need to create an inner class um, called the view holder. So I'll just click that and then we'll put here. We are going to extend the recycler view dot view holder. So extends recycler view. that um, view holder so that's what we want and then click this one and create a constructor matching super and then things gonna be okay okay so we still have red here make an on create that returns okay, let's try that Let me just delete this part and then do it again. Okay, I'm going to implement the method and then click OK. Okay, so that uh, basically um, solves the issue of red line. Okay, so now uh, we, go, we are going also to initial, uh, declare array list and also the uh, context because that's going to be part of the class. So go ahead and type it.
Okay, so I, I declared here an array list, and then inside the array list is we are going to use our class, um, the class contacts. So then I am going to refer, and then I name it C list or contact list, and then I also declared context uh, as context. So here we go. We are going to create a constructor again. Let's right click. Uh, generate and constructor i'm going to select both and then oh uh, so okay so we're done with this one so okay so let's go to the to the most basic part of this um manipulating all this implements or i mean the methods inside this class that we have so first is we need to have the get item count so what do we need to have here so we'll return zero yung kanyang default so but we need to return the value of the list. So to do that is just type in C list that size. And that's it. So yan na yung ating um gagawin. Yan, yan na yung gagawin natin dyan sa part na yan. So in this uh, part naman sa ating view holder on create view holder, what we're going to do here is to create a, a layout in Plater. Uh, that we are going to set it on a view. Okay, so I'm gonna type it here. So just watch. And I'll try to explain later on. So what we did is we create a new, a view, I mean, and then we use a layout inflator. Yung layout inflator kung saan natin siya kukunin. So it's, we're going to get that from the contact list item which we have here. And then um, the third one is we have the view, view group which is parent galing siya dito. And we are going to attach it to root false. Okay, so those are the things that you just need to, to know. And then the next one is we need to bind this um, particular um, particular views or widgets to our recycler view. But before that, um, kailangan natin i-introduce muna yung ating mga views like the text views and the image view from the contact list. So how are we going to do that? So it's the same thing that we always do in introducing the widgets to the Java.
Okay, so we're done um, introducing this so that now we can use this to our on binder view hold or on bind view holder. Kasi kung wala ito, um, we're not able to uh, use the holder, uh, the holder view holder here in this part. Okay, so let's go ahead here. Um, I'm going to create a okay, so contacts. Um, contact equal to uh, m um, still list that get and then um the index that we are that they're pertaining here is the position and it's it's an in index so just put it here position all right and then now uh, we are going to uh, set the text and uh, also the image url to our um to our widgets so you watch out So, okay, so this is um, how we are going to assign the values that we get from the, uh, from the contact uh, class and then passing it through the EB uh, or the holders. So, ito yun. Yan yung mga tinutukoy ko. So, dyan na yan ilalagay, which is also appears here. This part na yan. Okay, now um, this, it's going to be a different one. Hindi ganito yung magiging itsura dun sa photo. But we're going to use a... Uh, and a third-party dependency, which is what we call the Glide uh, library. So uh, we need to go to um, this one. Okay, let's try. Okay, so just type it Glide dependencies, and then go bump tech. Ito yung first. Let's click that, and it will route you to a GitHub account, which is the bump tech Glide. And then all you need to find is this part which is the dependencies copy nyo itong entire just copy that go back to your editor and then go to the gradle scripts so there are two build gradle so the one that you need to use is the module o yung second wag yung project so here click that and then look for dependency part and then enter save it and then also do not forget to click sync. So, you will need to sync that para ma-include siya sa ating project. Okay, and then after that, if uh, everything goes well, status can be synced in this part. Okay, let's go back here. Okay, so everything's good. Now, we're going to type in glide dot with, so we need a with and then view, what is our view, which is our context. So, saan natin kinuha yung context? So, the context actually came from this um, declaration, which is the context context. So, that's why we're using that here. So, for that, um, so load. Load uh, URI, load file, load byte, and so on. So, there's a lot of kind of loads that um, at a polymorphic load method. Uh, that we have here so uh, what we need is this um, just just select any of this one kasi ang ilalagay din naman natin dito is to get uh, image url from the contacts okay dito sa ating okay, anyway so nandun sa may contacts natin so uh, just type in here since meron, meron naman na tayong contact na uh, instantiated contact so just uh, select contact that ayan so Makikita nyo, these are the uh, get uh, methods of the uh, of our contact class. So, we need to use this image URL. Then, after that, 
um, into, so i-load natin siya into which, so image view. So nasan si image view? Si image view ay si holder.img, which is this one. Then don't forget to close that. Okay, so save natin. Alright. And now we go back, let's go back to our main activity, but not here. The main activity, the Java. I'm gonna just close this um thing for a while because we're not gonna use some of this. Pano lang walang lito. Okay. Now um, what we're going to do here is we need to a uh, call in the uh, the recycler view or introduce recycler view and image view. Okay, so and then we also need the array list. Okay, so pretty much this is what we need and okay, don't also forget to um import the class or the array list okay so this is what we need right now um let's go back here and then introduce or find the id by ifd click find you by id capital r id dot the name of the I think this is I don't know, not image view. Sorry, different. It's supposed to be a bot. Button palasha because um this is what I'm supposed to be introducing. And then we're going to set the recycler views um width, which is set has fixed sized, which is equal to true. So say it accepts Boolean value. And then we are also gonna do recycler dot set the layout. Um set layout equal to new uh linear layout manager and then this. And now um we're going to do is to um create a new offered for the list array list it's gonna be m list equal to new um array list then we put it here contacts contacts pala. and then oh. and then um we need to have the adapter. So it's going to be adapter equal to new adapter, my adapter, I mean, my adapter, and then inside oh, we need two um, parameters. So the array list and also the context. So to do that, we need to have, we need to call the array list. So that's going to be M list. And then the context is this. 
meaning um the main dot uh, Java. And then next is we need to set the adapter to the recycler view. So recycler dot set adapter. So these are methods of a recycler. And then we call the adapter. Okay. So we will test if it's load. So gagawa ako dito ng temporary um temporary method which fill contacts so yeah so i'll just click this and then create a method Okay, so I'm done with the uh, method uh, fill contacts, and what we need to do now is to to check if it loads to our um to our Android application. But since images are taken from our uh, from the internet, we need to set that um permission from the uh, manifest. So just go to manifest folder, click manifest file, and then in the upper part just uh use uses permission android that permission dot internet and then um save that then let's try to run okay let me just um set up my emulator so since this is the very first time we are going to run our application okay so it's done let's go ahead and run that so you can see it here
Okay, it's now installing. Okay, so uh, yeah, so as you can see here, we are able to um load the uh, images as well as the names that we actually have here. Now, what we're gonna do is since it's, it's this is since this is working, uh, um, we're going to proceed with the um uh, with the function of when we click add it goes to the other activity which is the add contact activity okay so let me go ahead and okay going back to our main activity uh the java we are going to cl to create a um, result launch activity result launcher okay so let me just go ahead and type that So inside this launcher, we are going to check whether the uh, um, the result, whether this result um, is empty or has a result code of OK. So we, we will be using the if statement. Okay, so for the meantime, we are going to leave that um, part and we will go back to that later on. But since we're able to um, create a, an activity result launcher, we can now use that on our button add. Okay, so below this adapter that notify data set change, what I'm going to do is to call the BTN add and then set on click listening. The new um, contact list, and here we're gonna do the uh, launcher that launch um like new intent, and then a um, main activity that this to the add contact that class. Okay, so let's try to check this if it's gonna work. Okay, so let's click this. Okay, so as you can see right now, uh, we're able to route to do uh the um. To the uh, main activity, no, not main activity too, but uh, to the uh, activity that activity underscore add con. Okay, so main problem lang dito, so we're not able to see the image where we click. So um, let me just change that real quick. 
so I'm, I'm going back to activity at the contacts and then um in the drawables i'm going to click um new then vector assets just then i'll find the image maybe like add image yeah add photo alternative then i'm gonna change this to probably purple maybe then <clears throat> just change this and then click next then finish and then i'm gonna change the source to the image to okay so yeah okay, na okay so this will be good um for that particular mm. uh, design so let's now go to um making this uh activity to work kukunin yun mga values values yeah and then save the save it to our main activity okay so this um uh, the add contact the java so behind so earlier i made it uh, i introduced the image edit text and buttons um, which is actually if you're gonna see that on our layout here so you have the image edit text um, one two three edit text which is name contact number and the email address which i also reflects here name contract and email address we also have the buttons and then also the image so, you know, I'm show on the background because this is just a simple thing that we need to do. And then, um, next is what we're going to do is to assign that when we push or tap the button save, um, basically save all the information and then return to uh, the return to the main activity, the Java. So that's what we're going to do now. So you, you watch out for this. Okay, but before that, by the way, we need also to create an upload um code for the image. So we will do again a result um activity result uh launcher and then so that uh we can call the gallery to do that is uh, watch so now uh, instead of um instead of using intent inside the act activity result launcher gagamit tayo ng string because the image url is in string form so um from this on this time forward please uh watch I'm also going to uh, create a URI that URI image URI here so that it can be saved later on when we pass the value.
and right now we're going to do the code for the bo button save. Okay, so we're done with the bet button save. So what we're going to do now, since we're going to pass the value of all this method, I mean, all of this string, um, to back to activity one, kailangan natin get yung intent from this uh, particular uh, activity. So let's go back here and then Diba sabi ko sa inyo kanina, we will leave this blank. So right now, we're going to do is to go back in this part. Okay, so let so just watch me na lang. Um, how are we're going to get the data from the other 
uh, activity goal to this activity. Okay, so we will test this if it's going to work. Okay, so let me go ahead and run again. Okay, so if I click this, then let's try to open. Okay, so let's use it. Then change. Okay, so hindi ko na bura to. So later I will delete those. Yeah. Ah, okay, so mali ako. So there's a missing part here. Okay, let me just stop this part. Okay, so what I did is that um condition of work kanina is that I forgot to include the intent that put extra extras then bundle. Kasi ang ginagawa nito. So since naka bundle to sa so iisa, iisang name bundle which is the bundle. So, kinolak niya lahat ng put strings from the name, contact, email, and image. Okay. So, and then what I did was I directly go to main activity class without having been um, put all the, put the extras back to, to the intent. So, parang hindi niya madadala yan dun sa kabila. So, what I did is just to add this line of code intent that put extra and then inside that is the bundle and then once once you have this you need to call the method set result 
first is set result okay mean to say um okay okay na yung ating um activity and then we are going to assign the intent so, and then once uh, the finished is detected babalik na siya papunta dun sa ating main activity so if we are going to and anyway here in the main activity wala naman tayong binago um such that um so same same pa din so we have the panel result that get data that get extra and then on all, all in all is the same and then we add and so on then adapter that notified change so if we're gonna run this let's try okay so it has been launched so let's try to add uh, see what, this image and then we put something here not going to put um formatted names just to check if it shows anyway so yeah so let's try to make that so as you can see here it's it's been added on the uh, on our list so yeah yung ating um, adding but of course we we need to um to, to change something over here you say we need to make this as we call that We'll change this to to instead of name. Uburahin na lang natin make it um hint instead. So let me just do that quickly. I'm gonna change also the the ET number or the contact number into phone number. This one. Um, let me just check it here with Ionia. supposed to be okay number okay and here i'm gonna change also the the email so let's change this to email next email address i think we're good with here you can also by the way um increase the size so if you don't want the size of text let's make it probably 20 sp as well <clears throat> then i'll copy all of this copy then paste that on top that now we can edit text okay so i think um Let's change it to one for the so say that. By the way, if you wish to change the background color, you can also change that if you wish. Okay, so maybe background tint to Hmm. But it's, it doesn't look like good so we're not going to change i'm not going to change in this project let's save that then okay and yeah so let's go back to the to this one um we also need to check whether the, the whether this um string is 
empty or not because if they're empty well basically we need to um we need to notify that we need, we need to notify them that um they need to fill out the the fields so let me just go ahead, go ahead and do that So let's add one more. It's actually gonna show that later on. May may certain delay lang. I think it's because of the ano uh, the uh emulator. But it's basically gonna show up here. If you wish to, by the way, um, if you want this to have a label like like direct like like name direct contact number, 
yeah, and so on and so forth. You can um you can actually do that on the the part where here in the app. So my adapter, you can change not actually change but add a name and then name contact or the email. So if you are going to um save by the way um itong ginawa natin is it doesn't actually save um once once you close the program mabubura din yung mga save niya since we're not using any um database or what so let's try again so one de la cruz then let's find image then jdx gmail okay so as you can see there um naidagdag na yung name contact and email address so that's what you are going to uh, see okay so now that i able to um demo you this um what i want you to do is to recreate this um particular um phone contact organizer in such a way that uh, i want you to change the color of the font i mean the color yeah color of the font or color of the background you can also change the uh, the color of the buttons it's up to you so um ayan. so i want you to make this working also the adding and so on and so forth so that's what you what that's that is what will be your next um case study so yeah so if you do have question please um please pm me on telegram and uh, i will try to answer you once my time is available so that's all for now so i will be uploading this project to our um classroom so that you also have the you also have a reference to this so that's all thank you so much for watching and bye bye